www.pondscape.us. This is a really good shot. There's a lot of fish to stall up in this corner here. Quiet, Kate. Kate, quiet. I already told you. Hold on, Kate. I already told you. Hold on, Kate. What were you just told, Kate? Katie, be quiet. Guppies. This is some really good visibility here. Katie, what were you just told? Katie, be quiet for a while, honey. Katie, you can talk. I could hear you. Just stop badgering. Nobody wants to hear Dave, 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 Dave a zillion times in a row. If you got something, yeah. if you got something to say, just say it. Yeah. I'm listening. I'm videoing, but I'm also listening. There's no conversations. You're not interrupting anything. We just don't want to hear broken record one word for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> They're treating this little hose spray almost like they treat the waterfall. They're going right up on the current of it. Well, this water is cold, so the temp in the pond must be pretty good. Oh, is it cold now? Well, as far as I know, hose water's cold. There's no. No, it's been in the sun. You see. Oh, okay. I wouldn't let that trickle in like that. I had it in the sun. Well, it's pretty dim now. How long ago was that? That's still warm. Hmm. Hey, it's gotta be warmer than the pond. Daddy. Yes, baby. You already know what we're doing, Kate. We're fixing, Katie. He's fixing. I'm videoing fish. Because this is some really good visibility here. Oh, man. Can see him real clearly. www.davedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedavedaved
as we see the new PVC pipe, you might be wondering where this PVC pipe is going. Hold on a freaking second, Katie. The PVC pipe is going up Katie's butt as she... No, just kidding. Um, PVC pipe... <clears throat> it's going to this. This is an electrical hot water heater. And we're going to have it on a thermostat slash trickle system to level off the temperature of the pond and keep it um, anywhere between 75 and 85 at varying spots in the pond at all times. Because what's going to happen... Very simply, is that we are going to have a pump hooked up over here, which is going to pick up water from this end and inject it into the hot water heater. Hold on, Katie. And I'm putting fresh water in. Huh? I'm putting fresh water in. I'm not using the pump. I thought you're using no, the I'm pump running, too to go I'm to cycle from the water. back. Yeah, later on, but I'm using fresh water to go into here. Okay, well then anyway, for the immediate moment, instead of doing our duel, we're just gonna have a fresh water feed that's going to be going in here. Now later, when we institute the pump, what the pump is going to do is it's going to pick up the warm water from this end. It'll probably be anywhere between. 79 and 86 degrees at any given time depending on this end and it's going to distribute it and our little keeper of the pond here is actually going to be a waterfall in the future <coughs> and some of the fresh is going to come in off of that along with some of the the warmer water going in off of the pump that will be there so we're going to have water uh, warm water being injected on this end here Plus, there's going to be a line going all the way around that's going to come out our little pisser, which is going to be mounted right here. So we're going to have a warm water injection coming here, and it's going to water fall down this way into here. We're going to have warm water coming through that way, and it's all going to be picked up from right here where the electric heater lets out. Now, maybe at some point in the, in the future we'll figure out some good, safe way to use that system to um you know keep things uh warm in in the winter without burning out any electrical wires or anything stupid but in the meantime it's not going to be for that what it's going to be is just to make sure this pond stays at a nice comfortable temperature so that those cold nights don't interfere take your tape out to another shark he's getting sick yeah get him in a tank some of these sharks are getting sick and we're not sure why. I'm going to be going and getting getting some tetracycline today. And dropping it in, trying to figure out what's going on. Um, everything else seems fine. But um, there's some, some sort of hit sickness that's hitting the sharks. It seems to only be targeting the sharks. And there's no, there's no visible signs. Um, it's not like there's any growths on them or anything. It's just like, you know, they're getting the bends or some damn thing. I don't know. And it's not attacking all the sharks. So far, it's only attacking a minority of the sharks, whatever the hell it is. Because, I mean, most of our sharks are just zipping around happy as can be. As a matter of fact, they're doing their little mating rituals they want to mate. Um, we're almost up on the 10-minute mark here, so www.pondscape.us.